for ECD movement is uh, berating political parties for forgetting about children. It says those vying for votes have little to say about the development of the youngest South African. Now, uh, Tatiana Kazim from the Real Reform for ECD movement joins me now to expand on this particular topic. Quite surprising, I guess, from your end, Tatiana, that none of uh, the uh, manifestos by different political parties talk about children. Yes, surprising indeed and quite alarming given the state of early childhood development services in South Africa currently. The um, lack of attention paid to young children has really been going on for decades and that is why the real reform for ECD movement made up of ECD practitioners, parents, activists, members of civil society, that's why we decided that it was so important to advocate for holistic well-funded, inclusive, and quality early childhood development services in South Africa. Mm. And that's exactly what the ECD manifesto does. It was the result of significant consultation with the ECD sector, mm. and it sets out key actions for the new government to take across all five areas of nurturing care that young children need to unlock their potential. Mm. What I also find interesting, uh, Tatiana, is that um, they always talk about how they're going to create jobs in a country that obviously has a crisis around unemployment, and ECDs would be the perfect tool to assist especially women who are looking for jobs. Absolutely. Currently, only around a third of young children are actually in an ECD program, uh, like a creche or a playgroup um, or an ECD centre. There are at least one million children um, who are not in those programmes. And we have an ECD workforce who needs uh, better funding and more government support.